one question for the Prime Minister is whether he can focus those minds away from Brexit and onto the Conservative priorities, things like health and also education. Thank you, thank you. I'd also like to ask you about your awareness of the health crisis and the climate crisis. Why won't you work with a system like the one today? Do you have any ITG to report? Do you understand that? Have you read it? Do you understand that IPCC report? So basically, I just came out of clinic um, and I was told that Boris Johnson was coming and I was like, oh my goodness, that, like, as a normal person, you never get that opportunity to say something to someone like that. I really want to ask him, like, what's next? Um, and I was told I wasn't allowed to ask him any questions, which I think is a really good sign. This is a PR stunt. People who work in this hospital know the reality of cuts. Like, I'm a medical student. I don't know the reality of cuts in the way these people do. They were all really angry to hear that he's coming here for a PR stunt because we know what cuts have done to our NHS. We know that NHS is being privatised, even if it's not explained in explicit terms. What's I mean, the mood among staff at the hospital yeah. having had Boris Johnson coming? Ooh. OK, so we weren't told that he was coming, and I think that's a really big sign because as a Prime Minister, you should be proud of how you're leading your country. We were told that we weren't allowed to know he was here. But, yeah, I think it's, it's one of frustration because as doctors, we practice evidence-based medicine and politics should be evidence-based too. And yet the health outcomes from his policy changes show evidence-wise that doesn't work and we shouldn't keep doing that. And he's too much of a coward to actually speak to any real members of staff rather than just some random medical student who happened to get in front of some cameras about the reality of those cuts.